is Tara and Joe Winter Sloth. Yeah, sloths live in the rainforest, but we thought it would be funny and fun to draw one that's dressed for winter, like with a stocking hat and a scarf. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. They also need some paper and something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes! First, we're going to draw our sloth's nose. We're going to draw over here on the left side of our paper. We're going to draw a shape like this. Little kind of V shape. <laughs> There we go. And then we're going to draw the top. And then let's color that shape in. I'm actually going to change this into a U shape at the bottom. So it's a little bit bigger. Yeah. And then we could draw a little smile underneath the nose. Now we're going to draw the eye. I'm going to draw over here on the left. I'm going to draw a circle there. And then I'm also drawing the same size circle over here. But look, I'm also tipping the sloth's head. So it's at a slight angle. Then let's draw a small circle in the top left of each eye. And let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. This part will fast forward. So remember to pause the video. Take extra time to color in your eyes. Now let's draw the head for our sloth. We're going to draw a U shape that comes underneath and next to each eye. So we'll start here next to the eye and end over here next to this eye. Then we're going to draw that same line right below it for another part of the head. Yeah. Then on each side, let's extend these lines up past the eye, just so that we can connect the top. We're going to draw a line that goes this way for the hat. So we're going to draw a winter hat on our little sloth. So we're going to draw a line that goes across. Yeah. Then let's draw the hat. We're going to draw a line that comes out of the head right here. Then we're going to come up and over and then back down. <laughs> it's like it's wearing a helmet. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does look like a helmet. Let's add a little pom pom on the top. We're going to draw a little zigzag line around and kind of looks like a circle or half of a circle. Next, let's draw the scarf. I'm going to draw two lines down from the chin. And then we're going to connect these lines together with a curve. And then let's draw the end of the scarf coming down right here. So we'll draw a line down and over. Looks like the letter L and then we'll connect it back up. We can also draw another end to the scarf right next to it. And let's draw little decorations at the end, little strings hanging down. Okay, now let's draw our sloth's body. We're going to draw the belly. I'm going to draw it right here, and I'm going to draw a line that comes across, and it's kind of short. We're just going to draw it right to there. This next part might seem a little weird. We're going to go straight up from this line. We're going to start here. We're going to draw an imaginary line that comes up, and we're going to draw another line going this way. But watch this, we're going to go through the little pom-pom. <laughs> <laughs> this is the branch that our sloth is hanging from. Then we're going to imagine it going behind the little pom-pom and coming out to the side here. Next, let's draw the back leg that's way up here hanging on to the branch. We're going to start here. Well, let's draw a little further in and we'll come up to here. And we're going to connect to the branch and go past it, just barely. Yeah. And then let's draw the top of the branch coming this way. We're going to draw another line that goes all the way across. I know it's looking really weird, <laughs> but it'll make more sense once we add more details. <laughs> then we're going to draw the top of our little sloth leg right here. And then we're going to draw a line that comes down really long leg, huh? We're going to draw a curve that comes all the way down. And then we're going to curve here, almost like we're going to connect to the scarf. Yes. And then let's draw the arm hanging down from here. We're going to draw a line that comes down like this. It's going to curve around down at the bottom. So it looks kind of like the letter V or a U shape. And then we'll come up and connect to the scarf. 
Now at the very end, let's draw the little talons or the claws of our sloth. So I drew another curve and then we're going to add two lines in that inside that shape. Okay, now let's draw the rest of the branch up here. We're going to extend this out past and then we're going to imagine this going through and draw the other part of the branch too. <laughs> Now let's draw the other leg and it's hanging onto this branch. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw the talons or claws. So we're gonna draw a U shape on the top, kind of like down here. And we're gonna add the two claws or the two lines to divide up the claws. Then we're gonna draw, we're gonna imagine this coming right here down and we're gonna connect into the leg. And we're going to draw the other part coming down from the claw right here and we're going to connect down to the belly. Now we're going to draw the other arm. We're going to draw a U shape. And then we're going to draw the two lines inside for the claws. And then we're going to draw the arm coming down. We're going to draw two lines right here for this arm that's coming up and hanging onto the branch. And we could also, let's add snow on top of the branch. I'm gonna draw a little bumpy line here and maybe even a bumpy line here. Yeah. And then another one. We did it, we finished drawing our winter sloth. Well, we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part we'll fast forward, but before we fast forward, let's pick out the colors we're going to use. We're using our Art for Kids hub markers. If you have the same set, we're using 100 as the main color for our sloth, 26, uh, 100 is a gold brownish color, and 26 is a lighter brown, kind of a yellow color. I think we might use that for the face, we'll see. And then 94 is a dark brown for the branch, 182 is a light blue that we'll use for the snow. And I think we're gonna color the hat and also the scarf red. So we're using 15. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we're almost done. We used a white colored pencil to make the highlights a little bit bigger inside the eyes. And then we also used a blue colored pencil our Prismacolor colored pencils to add a little highlight at the bottom of the eye. I think it just looks kind of cool. Yeah. Now let's use our 100 marker. This is the gold brown, and we need to add the mask that goes around our sloth's eyes. So first we're gonna draw a curve or a U-shape, an upside down U-shape, that starts on the cheek, goes around the eye, and then connects back to the cheek. Then we're gonna color that in solid all the way around the eye, and then repeat this mask for the other side too. So we're gonna draw a U shape that goes around the eye and then connects back to the cheek and then color that in. I love how we colored our hat and also the scarf red with white stripes. And you guys can color your hats any way you want. You could add different patterns or even change the color. And also you could add more things to the background. We did it, Austin. We finished drawing and coloring our winter sloths. I especially love yours. And I love that it looks different than mine. Thank you. Remember to pause the video to match our same coloring or you can color any way you want. Also remember, you don't have to use the same markers that we have. You could use different markers or even color pencils, crayons, or even oil pastels. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a winter sloth. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.